being a good neighbor. Invest your time. How do you invest your time in your neighborhood? 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 18, Paul teaches to do good and be rich in works, be generous and ready to share. Straight from God's word. Are you generous in your works? Now, works won't save you. Works are an indication that you've already been saved. Your heart's been transformed. It's been changed. And you want to be a servant to people in the neighborhood that need help, that need to know Christ as their Lord and Savior. And last, how to avoid becoming greedy, be rich toward God. You know, one thing I found in life is that I can't outgive God. <laughs> it's impossible. I can't out give God. You know, sometimes we get in contests and kids get in contests and they're trying to outdo the other one. You know, my friends, you can't out give God. A guy by the name of R.G. Letourneau was a good example of this. R.G. Letourneau was a uh, young man who went to work in California way back between World War I and World War II, okay? Right after World War I, in fact. And he went to work uh, as an engineer, working for a company, learning how to do engineering type stuff. And he went broke a couple of times. He even bought, even bought a business and went broke at one time. But by the time World War II came around, R.G. Letourneau had become very, very successful as a businessman. In fact, 70% of the large earth-moving equipment that was used by engineers in World War II came from the company that he founded. He was a great Christian philanthropist. And he grew in his Christian experience with the Lord until R.G. Letourneau got to the point where he could live on 10% and gave 90% to the Lord and the Lord's work. In fact, he became known as God's businessman. God's businessman. Being a Christian steward means that I will give more than just my tithe to his church. It means I'll invest in his kingdom financially with my time with my talents, with my energies, so that one day, one day, he will look at me and say to me, well done, good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a little thing or small amounts, and I want to make you the ruler over much. Lord, we thank you for your word. And it's not my word, it's your word. And we pray, Lord, that you would uh, impress upon our hearts the significance of being your stewards in everything we have, that we would avoid at all extremes being greedy, but that we would be rich toward you and in your name be good investors of our money, our time, our talents, and our energy in your kingdom that other people might come to know Jesus Christ as their Savior and their Lord. Lord, thank you for your church. Thank you for the privilege of returning that 10% to your church. What a blessing it is to sit down and just write that check. But even more than that, to give an offering of the abundance from what you've blessed us with. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
Hey guys, before we close today, uh, just want you to know that it is Pastor Appreciation Month. And as such, uh, uh, Fellowship has put some stuff together uh, for um, Kent and Elaine. Can you guys come up, please? And we just want to uh, thank and uh, pray for this humble servant. And we just appreciate you. We appreciate your commuting. We appreciate your effort. We appreciate your heart for our church. And I know it's not always a, an easy time to jump in with open arms like you guys have. And we appreciate that. We appreciate your love and your commitment to us. And it matters. And uh, I know, uh, Pastor Kenta, you've been commuting a lot, too. But, Elaine, I know that that also means that he that's a commitment on your part, too. And I, we're just grateful. We're grateful to have you in our body. And so we just would uh, like to pray, if you'd pray with us. Father, we just lift up Kent and Elaine to you, Lord. And I just ask, Father God, that you would pour extra special blessing on them this month and through the holidays and even the next year, Lord, that... Um, I know that you see the things that they do, and I know that they're walking in your will, but God, I just want you to know how much I appreciate and how much fellowship appreciates the fact that you gave them to us for the time that we've had them, Lord, and I bless, ask that you would bless them abundantly for that, um, all the hours and the time and the commitment and the driving, Lord, we do see it, we see it, and it does matter, and we are grateful, Lord, to you and to Pastor Kent and Shirley for making that commitment to fellowship, even though it's uh, inconvenient, even though it's traveling, even though. And I just pray, Lord, that um, you would continue to keep them sensitive to your spirit, Father God. I thank you for their leading. And I do ask, God, that you would just bless them abundantly for all that they've done for us, Lord. And we thank you for your loan of them to us, Lord. And I thank you for the place in our hearts that you've created for them. And I just pray that we have that same spot, Father God. And as they travel onward later, whenever that is, Lord, I just thank you that we were blessed uh, by their presence. In Jesus' name, amen. I just want to thank my brother, who is my pastor. And uh, just uh, he's, he's been such a good steward to our church. And we should really... Um, just think about uh, a man that, that's in Grand Junction praying for everyone that he knows uh, from this church. It's very humbling. Um, and I ask God that you would just bless him abundantly in Jesus' name. And we've got a little special something for you from the back. I just want to say that I'm totally shocked and surprised. That's a good way, I guess, to surprise somebody, right? Uh, you, you guys kept uh, good secrets. And, uh, no, it, it's been our privilege. It, it is it's truly a privilege to serve God wherever he sends you, wherever he places you, and just to have the trust in him that he's got a purpose in that. You know, he doesn't send us a place that he doesn't have a purpose to use us, whatever that might be. And uh, uh, Lane and I have found that uh, serving him together for, for many years. And uh, we thank you. And we genuinely love you. It's, it's easy to love this church. There's some great folks in this church, in this congregation. And uh, I, I really look forward to what God's going to do in the future in this congregation with uh, the right uh, pastor and family that he's going to bring here. 
And I look forward to hearing some good reports about uh, how God is leading you to impact this community for Jesus Christ into the future. So thank you. Thank all of you very much. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you.